my name is Valerie. Today, I have two very, very amazing books that just came out in probably one of the best known series for like around my age. And also it's a series that I always reread. Read with Val. Read on, have fun, and dream big. This series is The Babysitter's Club, and I know that a lot of you have probably read, heard, or, like, seen, um, the, like, and about, about The Babysitter's Club. Netflix just came out with season two, and that's all about, um, these new books. So, the two books that I'm going to be sharing with you guys today, sorry, Chrissy and the Snobs, and also Claudia and the New Girl. And based on the novel by Anne and M. Martin. These two books are realistic fiction books, and I would rate these books a 10 out of 10. And in Claudia's class, there is a new girl that comes in, and her name is Gabriella. And Gabriella, like, kind of shocks um, Claudia. Not in a bad way. She is very, very unique. Her hair is blue and she like doesn't care what anybody thinks of her. And Plotty finds that really inspiring. Um, and in the Babysitter's Club, Claudia is like known for being like the independent one, like the creative one and like the one who's like um, kind of not afraid to be different. And, but, this girl named Gabriella like takes it to a whole nother level and it is super amazing. Um, but the main point is that Gabriella, Gabriella and Claudia become friends and they're linked to art. Both of them are amazing, amazing artists and there is a competition coming up. Gabriella really wants Claudia to enter the competition and Claudia, Claudia finally caves in. And basically, the competition is taking so much of her time that she can't go to the babysitter's clubs and the meetings. Um, and the rest of the club thinks that that is pretty, it's, it's bad. Um, so Claudia has to decide if she wants to stick with Gabriella and go on this like art journey or um, stay with um, Claudia's old friends, like her, not not true friends, but um, her friends before Gabriella, the babysitter's club. Um, so it's all about Claudia finding time and balancing time and looking at herself and asking like a very simple question, like who do I want to spend my time with? Um, and at the end, if you keep on reading, the answer will be, will come to you. <laughs> and then the next book, Christy and the Snobs. Christy and the Snobs is about Christy and um, her parents got divorced a long time ago. And her mom's been, I mean, seeing this guy, seeing this guy named Watson. And they get married. And that's all about in Christie's big day. Um, and Watson lives in this mansion and it's a new neighborhood. So Christy has new clients and new kids to babysit, which is amazing. But she doesn't know a lot of people. There are some really spoiled brats, spoiled kids and bossy kids. And one of them in particular, Shannon, she is the girl you see on the cover here. And as you can tell, she's looking at Christy in a very like disgusted way. And Christy's looking at her the same way. Uh, Christy has to learn to kind of adapt to how her neighborhood is. Um, and not only that, she has to teach the other kids in her neighborhood how to become a better person um, while uh, babysitting kids and going to the babysitter's club. And also it's 
um, about Christy adjusting to her new life um, with Watson and also their dog, Louie, is the dog that you see on the cover. Um, he's getting really old and he's getting really sick. So um, Christy also has to deal with that. And I think a lot of you will love these two books. Um, uh, you, I, I think a lot of you will love these two books in Claudia and the New Girl. Um, many people will connect to how Claudia feels about splitting time between two friends or two groups of friends and learning the consequences and the uh, pros to um, having two friends, two groups of friends, um, but then also the cons of having two groups of friends. Um, and then in Christy and the Snobs, I think many of you will connect to how Christy feels about being um, sort of left out and being the one who doesn't, who feels like they don't know really what's happening. Um, <laughs> and also about Louie the dog. It's really, really sad. Um, but I think a lot of you will connect to these two books. Um, I would recommend these books to kids between the ages 8 through 12. Both of these books are really, really fun um, for kids to read. Um, my sister loves this series, um, and she loved reading Kirsten and the Snobs. Um, and so, just for younger kids, the illustrations are amazing. Um, I'm just going to show you them. I don't know. They're very, very amazing and um, very fun to look at. So... I hope everyone enjoys these two books. Remember to read on, have fun, and dream big. I'll see you guys soon. Bye!